Shalom. Shalom. Hey, this is your brother Amo One Ibad and the brother Rawai Shapar from the GMS Miami camp, and we're going to be going into a lesson. All right, but before we go any further, we're going to go ahead and give all honor and glory and praise unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, and Kakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us this truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you we say Shalom to the Akim and to the Aqua. <coughs> that will be you brothers and sisters, Adawan Rataza, that is to say Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson you'll be edified. All right, so with that being said, we're going to be going into a, a lesson entitled Signs That Prove Through the Spirit That You're an Israelite. Okay, Signs That Prove Through the Spirit That You're an Israelite. Okay, so that's the title, uh, the topic at hand today for today's lesson. All right, so um, one of the quickest ways uh, 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 <clears throat> for you to spot an Israelite, okay, it's, it's through the spirit, you know? But really, like, right off the rip is those is, is the curses, man. You know, when you read the, the book of Deuteronomy, the, 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 the 28th chapter beginning at the, the, the 15th verse on down to the 68th verse, which goes, it goes into the, to, to, to the curses, man, okay? Our people fit those curses to a T. And it's no escaping them. It's no getting away from them. You could be rich. It doesn't matter. Okay? You cannot escape the curses, man. You see? And that's one of the quickest ways to tell. All right? So we're going to start this lesson in the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Okay? And we're going to start at the 37th verse. Okay? So read what you got, brother. Come on, this is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28, verse 37. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. Right, so, so that's what happened to our people. We became an astonishment. <laughs> uh, we went from rulership, okay, from being a royal people, okay, to what? A byword among all... No, read it again from oh, the top. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. And, mm -hmm. thou shalt be, and thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. Among all the nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. Right, see, it's because we were scattered into all nations. <clears throat> and this happened because we transgressed against the Lord as a people, okay? So that's why it's saying, thou shall become. So we were taken away from our royal status. You see? And we became an astonishment and a byword and a, and a proverb, a proverb among the nations. You see? That's part of the curses we're paying back for right now. We live under these curses because we transgress against the Lord. And that's a sign. That's uh, some of the signs you can see on our people. When you look around the world, we at the bottom. Okay? Last hired. First fired. You see? You see those signs everywhere in our people. When you look around, our people are at the bottom, man. Everywhere. You see? Jump to verse uh, 46. And that explains to you how it's going to be. Those signs and these curses is going to be on you forever, man, until the Lord come and take it off. Come on, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. Upon thy seed forever. You see? Now, the scripture speaks about these curses being put upon our enemy. Deuteronomy, the 30th, uh, uh, what's that? Deuteronomy 37, I believe. Okay. So at some point they're gonna to start to go on our enemies, but it ain't gonna be until you how shall I come that these curses lift, lift off of us. That's why we pray for the return of our Lord. Okay, you see, but these is these are ways that you can tell an Israelite because they live under the curses. You see, so jump down to the 68th verse. Now our people were scattered into all nations. This is more of the curses showing we live under these curses. We were scattered into all nations. Therefore, we, we look like we, we plant our seed in all these different nations. So we're going to look like other people too. You see? we Every every Israelite is not going to look like our, our shaft. Everybody that's going to look dark skin. You're going to have light skin, brown skin. You know, we, we look like all people because we were scattered into all nations. You see? 
and we plant our seed there as a people. Okay, read. Uh, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no Selakia. more again. Selakia, I, I, I wanted 64 right then. Selakia, uh, 64. Where we today? Selakia. It's the book of Deuteronomy. 64. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all the people from the one end of the earth even unto the other end and there and there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou know which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone right so the Lord scatters scatter us into all nations man you see the, the Lord prophesied uh, 70 AD Masada when uh, General Vespasian and his son Titus they sacked Jerusalem and our people had to run down into the interiors of Africa man Okay, they, there was a scattering, a disperse. Okay, the people had, the, the people had to disperse, man. They scatter out of uh, out of Jerusalem, man. And, we, and from that point, we were went in, we we went into all nations, man, east, west, north, and south. You see, so our people were scattered into all nations. You see, and that's why we're gonna come looking like all of these different nations. But these people, a lot of these people are Israelites, even though they're in all these different lands. It's because it was a scattering. You see, so. Now, so so because of the scattering, and we look like some, we look like other different people, but they are Israelites. The for the the, the 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 way that you tell is through the spirit, and we're going to get into some of those scriptures. But before we leave the curses, now get for verse forty-eight. Jump down to verse forty-eight. Okay, now we know the people after, like I just spoke of, what happened in Jerusalem. In Jerusalem was sacked by uh, Titus. Okay, and our people run down into to the interiors of Africa only to be rounded up years later, okay, to go into hardcore slavery. All right, that, that's what you just read in verse 68, but we're going to get 48 first, okay? Only to be rounded up later on for the prophecy that the Lord had a place prepared for, for his people to serve punishment. In Revelation, the 12th chapter, tells you about how he had a place prepared. You see, and that was the daughter of Babylon, a.k.a. America. That's where we're going to come to serve our punishment. You see, so read verse 48. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger and in thirst mm -hmm. and in nakedness mm -hmm. and in want of all things. Mm -hmm. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck uh -huh. until he have destroyed thee. There you go. So now if you go to the computer and you go to Google and you do a Google search and you type in yoke of iron, who are you going to see? You're just going to see pictures come up with Jake, man. Judah, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, the southern kingdom, they were carried away off of the, 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 the coast of Africa, man. Okay, if you get any, if you if you get any uh, 19, uh, if you get any 1700s map, it show you it, it, that map. Any 1700 map of, of Africa, they have a place called Negro Land. Okay, that's where they were taking them from, all well, the different coasts and different parts of Africa. But they had a, they had an area called Negro Land. They had a spot called Fort Judah. You see, so there was the the, the, the Southern Kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Because the, the northern kingdom was already in the Americas. They, they had been come over years and years and years and years and years ago. Okay? So that, that that's our people, man, with the yokes of iron around their neck. Okay, now jump down to verse 68. On, this is the, book. the Israelites. Okay? You got it, brother. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Right. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, Thou shalt see it no more again, uh -huh. and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies right. for bond men and bond women, right. and no man shall buy you. Right. So the, Moses was telling the children of Israel if they break these laws, statutes, and commandments, because they went into a covenant with the Most High when they was in the wilderness. Okay. Moses was telling them if they break that covenant, this is what's going to happen. Read it again. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight, verse sixty-eight. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Right. So if you don't keep the law, statutes, and commandments, if you don't do the right thing, read on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, mm -hmm. thou shalt see it no more again. Right. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen uh -huh. and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. Right. And so who that happened to? That happened to our people, man. 
the, the southern kingdom through the Benjamin and Levi. And no man shall buy you. So all this time we was in the daughter of Babylon, a.k.a. America. No Martin Luther King couldn't save us. No, Mar no Marcus Gabby couldn't save us. All right? No Malcolm X couldn't save us. Only Yahweh Shai come back to deliver his people, man. That's the right. Israelites, the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay? So that's just some some scriptures, some precepts out of the curses, Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Okay, just a few other them just to show you those signs where we live under the curses. So that's one of the ways that you know those who are at the bottom. Okay? All right? Those who do, do these, 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 these curses fit perfectly, those are the Israelites, man. You see? Now, get Genesis, get Genesis 25 and start at verse 22. Because we are stronger people. When you, when you when you read the Bible, the two main characters is Jacob and Esau. Okay, um, Esau is, a, is is the so-called white man, but he's really red. Okay, the scripture describes him as red. All right. When you read the twenty-five, when you read the twenty-fifth uh, verse, it tells you that. Okay, but um, he was the older brother, but the younger is stronger. So. The, the two characters, the two main characters, Jacob and Esau. You see? Jacob is the progenitor, all right, of, uh, of the patriarch of the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are the Israelites. You see? Our forefather is Jacob. You see? The so-called uh, 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 white man, their forefather is Esau. You see, they're the two main characters in the, in, the, in, the, in the scriptures. You see? So when you read that, you find out that one people is stronger than the other. And one people was meant to serve the other. So read on. Con, this is the book of Genesis chapter 25, verse 22. Mm -hmm. And the children struggled together within her. Right, so this is Rebecca. This is Isaac's wife, Rebecca. The children are struggling, when, uh, struggling within her. So she went to inquire of the Lord. Read on. And she said, if it be so... Why am I thus? Mm -hmm. And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. There are two different set of people is in your womb. Okay? Read on. And two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. Right. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. Right. So we that people, we that stronger people, the Israelites. Okay? Read on. And the elder shall serve the younger. Right. So Esau came out first. He's the elder. And the elder is going to serve the younger. Okay? So right now he's in his rulership. Okay? But it tells you, 2nd Ezra, the 6th chapter and the ninth verse, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of the world. Okay? So that's right. that establishes that the, uh, the, uh, the Israelite is a stronger, the Israelites is a stronger people, man. All right? And that's how you would know Israel. Look at, look at sports. Who, who dominate the sports? Jake. Jake. Michael Jordan, music, Michael Jackson. <laughs> All right, sports would be the even desire to go and we go and take it. A look at Tiger Woods, just take over a so called white man sport. Do it better than him. You understand? Serena Williams. You know what I'm saying? I believe Williams didn't really play no tennis from no long time like that, but when they did start to play, look, they take it over. That's Jake. And it says, the elder shall serve the younger. You see? So, get Matthew chapter um, Matthew chapter 5 and verse 13. Because the scriptures speak of us being the salt of the earth, man. This is how you know Jake. Jake could dance. When you see Jake, Jake don't miss a beat. You ever see some other people trying to dance and can't catch the rhythm? And they looking like a damn robot doing like a... I mean, the beat going... You know what I mean? But they like, they, they shake it like this and like, damn! <laughs> but Jake be on the groove. You know, Come. Jake just be swagging easy because you can tell that's Jake. Come. <laughs> Read that scripture, bro. Jake got rhythm. Right, bro. <laughs> this is the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 13. You are the salt of the earth. Right. But if the salt have lost its savior, wherewith savor. Sa oh, savor? Yeah, yeah, it's a lot. I'm going to restart. Mm -hmm. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 13. You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost its his savor, mm -hmm. wherewith shall it be salted? Mm -hmm. It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under the foot of men. Right, you see? 
the whole point about it is that, that we are the salt of the earth, man. You know, when Jake come around, things get lively. Calm. You see? Jake ain't like some boring, you know? Jake come around, things get lively, like, right away. That's just in his spirit. You see? Get uh, 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 5. You know, so Jake is the salt of the earth. That's another way you know an Israelite when you see him. You know, he got that swag. You, you know, he or she could dance, they could move, and they on the rhythm. Cool. They're not off course with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> they body <laughs> movement. Right? Uh, go ahead. It's the book of 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 5. Mm -hmm. Ye also as lively stones. As what? Lively stones. As what? <laughs> lively stones. <laughs> That's Jake. Calm. Lively That's stones, nice. bro. Signs that prove through the spirit that you're an Israelite. An Israelite is like a, a lively stone. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Read on, bro. He also has lively stones. I mm -hmm. built up a spiritual house mm -hmm. and holy priesthood to offer us spiritual sacrifices acceptable to the Most High by Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Okay. So the reason why I brought up that scripture to our, this lesson right here is because Jake, we, 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 we lively stones, man. Come on. We the salt of the earth. Lively stones, you know? We're going back to the point, you know, those curses. But I mean off the rip, you could tell you could tell an Israelite by the spirit. Come. Go to the book of Romans and get the eighth chapter. You're gonna read the fourteen verse. And then you're gonna jump down to the sixteen verse. Come. This is the book of Romans, chapter eight, verse fourteen. Mm -hmm. For as many as are led by the spirit of the most high that power. That's right. They are the sons of the Most High. There you go. So as many as many as are led by the Spirit of the Most High. They are the sons of the Most High, man. Okay? Like, uh, uh, what's what's his name again? Uh, the, the, the Ethiopian eunuch. That was an Israelite, man. Come on. Okay? Uh, this guy. Uh, what's, 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 um, uh, uh, what, uh, his name is eluding me right now. Um. We go into it all the time, man. Uh, um, uh, it comes up all the time. This guy, he's an Israelite. The Roman centurion. Um, what chapter that is it again? Go to Acts chapter. Go to Acts chapter. What's his name again, man? Oh, my goodness. Uh, go to Acts, I believe it's 10 or 11. There was a... Cornelius, there you go, pen. And there was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion. That's right, Cornelius. That's an Israelite. You see? So, as many as are led by the Spirit of the Mosai, they are the sons of the Mosai, man. So, to the Spirit, you could tell. Jump down to the 16th verse. I was trying to remember that name. It was eluding me right there, and then Cornelius. Come on. That's the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 16. Uh -huh. The Spirit itself beareth witness there you go. with our spirit uh -huh. that we are the children of the Most High. Right. The Spirit. That's how you, that's how you know an Israelite indeed. Yahweh Shai said that. Come. Okay? It, it, it's, it's the Spirit. When you see an, an ex-Israelite, you know, man. You know, that's Jake. <laughs> that's Jake. Come. You know what I'm saying? Read it again, verse 16. This is Romans 8. Verse 16, mm -hmm. the Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit right. that we are the children of the Most High. That's it. Now, Yahushai said that when he saw uh, Nathaniel, because uh, Philip was telling him, you know, um, go to go to uh, St. John, the first chapter. Go to St. John, the first chapter. Uh, let me see. I have it started here at, at 47, but I want to. I want to um, I want to read up a little bit on it. Forty-seven. Okay, so this was when they find Yahweh Shai, right? The day of falling. Okay, hold on. Okay, start at start at forty-four. This is the book of First John, chapter one, verse forty-four. Mm -hmm. Now. Well, this is the book of John, chapter 1, verse 44. Mm -hmm. Now, Philip was of Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Mm -hmm. Philip findeth Nathanael and saith unto him, We have found him. Right. Meaning, who, meaning Yahweh Shai. Read on. Of whom Moses in the law uh -huh. and the prophets did write. Right. 
Yahushai of Nazareth, right. the son of Joseph. Right. <clears throat> and Nathaniel said unto him, Can there any good thing come out of Nazareth? Right. So he, he, Philip was telling Nathaniel about Yahushai. And, you know, and he's telling him, say, he, 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 you know, he, 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 he is in Nazareth. But Nathaniel, at, the point, at that moment, he was like, can any good thing come from out of Nazareth? Because Nazareth, I guess, in that time was a rough place. You know? But read on, you go see. Philip saith unto him, come and see. Right. Yahweh saw Nathaniel coming to him. Right. And saith of him, behold. This is the point. An Israelite indeed. There you go. How did Yahweh Shai know that? The spirit. <laughs> it's through the spirit. He got, he, <laughs> hey, man, he got those powers. <laughs> he got the powers to know that. But this is spirit. Come on. You see? Come on. What did he say? Read that part again. Yahweh Shai saw Nathaniel and what? Yahweh Shai saw Nathaniel coming to him and uh -huh. saith of him, uh -huh. Behold, an Israelite indeed. Behold, an Israelite indeed. You see? So when we see Israelite through the spirit, we know, bro, that's Jake. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> Read on. In whom is no guile. Right. Nathaniel saith unto him, Whence knowest thou me? Mm -hmm. Yahweh answered and said unto him, Listen to this part right here. Before that Philip called thee, uh -huh. when thou was under the fig tree, right. I saw thee. Right. So Yahweh said, When you was under the fig tree, I saw you. So you could see Jake from the distance and know, Yo, that's Jake. You know what I'm saying? You, you can see your people from a distance. The way they, they behavior, the way they might dance or move or do certain things you know that's jake bro Come. through the spirit you know that's one of your you know what i'm saying Come. read the next verse nathaniel answered and saith unto him rabbi thou art the son of the most high mm -hmm. thou art the king of israel yahushai answered and said unto him because i said unto thee i saw thee under the fig tree believest thou thou shalt see greater things than these mm -hmm. that's it but that, that was just an account for you. See, even Yahushua said, an Israelite indeed. You see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. <laughs> so, but I mean, like, once again, I'll get Jeremiah chapter 12 and verse 9. Our people were scattered into all nations, right? Uh -huh. So we, we're going to come looking like all people. Uh -huh. We're going to come looking like all people. Because the Lord says heritage is on him as a speck of bird. You see? So we're going to come looking off like all people, but it's, the, it's through the spirit. The spirit bears witness with our spirit. You see, that we are the sons of the living power. Read what you got. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 12, verse 9. Mm -hmm. My heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. Mm -hmm. The birds round about are against her. Come ye, assemble all the beasts of the field, come to devour. Right, so the, the Lord's the Lord's heritage unto him as a, as a speckled bird. Have you ever seen a speckled bird? It's a beautiful colored bird with many colors. With many colors. So that's how... Israel is going to look. You know, you're going to see uh, Israelites in, in the so-called form of what you call so-called white person. Okay? So-called black. Okay? Nobody are these colors now. It's just so-called. I probably say so-called. Cool. You know what I'm saying? But you could say dark skin. Brownish. You know? Like that. But we, we look like all people, man. Okay? But it's through the spirit. You know? That's how you tell you tell through the spirit, man, and 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 and, 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 and the conditions the the people in who if they under those curses, man, because our people at the bottom. Okay, get our Revelation seven and nine, and we can close on it or not. This is the book of Revelation, chapter seven, verse nine. Right, so to back up to edify the point, okay, to uh, solidify the point of Jeremiah twelve and nine, the Most High's uh, heritage is on him as a speckled bird. And the fact that we were scattered, Deuteronomy 28, and verse 64, we were scattered into all nations, so we're going to look like all people. Even, even, you know, in the time of the deliverance, those that get the victory over the beast and over the image and over his mark, they're going to come from all nations, but they're going to be Israelites. Come on. Read. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 7, verse 9. After this I beheld, and lo, mm -hmm. a great multitude which no man could number. A of, great multitude which no man could number. Read on. Of all nations. Of all nations. Now remember, salvation is of the Jews. Salvation is, is only for the Israelites, man. Okay? So these, these from all nations, they are Israelites who were scattered into these different nations. It's all Israel. The elect is all Israelites. Read on. And kindreds and peoples and tongues 
stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes uh -huh. and palms in their hands. Uh -huh. Clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. That's those who have gotten the victory. Come all of them are going to be Israelites. They're going to be the elect, the one third, and all are going to be Israelites. But it mentions and said that from all different nations and tongues and kindreds. But that's because we were scattered into those nations. You see? So, I mean, the way you tell an Israelite is through the Spirit. Okay? Right. But quickly, it's through those curses, man. Because those curses are on our people. So, you know, signs that prove through the Spirit that you're an Israelite. Hey, the Spirit and the curses, man. So... No, we you were edified. We don't have to end it there. We're going to give our honor and glory, glory and praise unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of great mystery who taught us this truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth and truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Until the next time, Shalom. Shalom.